Good day everyone and welcome back to another beautiful video on my channel. In this video, I am in Albany, Western Australia and we are going to visit a historical place here which is called as Albany Historic Whaling Station. This place carries a long history about whale hunting in Albany and in this place you can explore an intact whale processing factory and whale chasing ship fully restored and ready for you to discover. I'm going to take you for a tour around the whale chasing ship and then to the whale processing factory. And on our way, we are going to know more interesting facts about whale hunting and processing. If you are new to this channel or haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure you subscribe and start watching this video. When you look at the map, you can see that the Albany Historic Whaling Station is located at the very bottom of Western Australia, close to the Southern Pole, and it is a very cold place during winter. At the entrance of the whaling station, there was an aerial view photograph displayed and you can clearly see the ship and the processing factory and also the surroundings of the whaling station. I entered the premises and got an entry ticket to the whaling station. It is $35 per adult and they also gave us a guiding map which clearly shows us where to go and where are the interesting things to look at. The first place I entered after I got the ticket is a kind of display center where a lot of seashells, conches, coral reefs, etc. were displayed. There were a collection of a lot of colors and shape and they were placed very organized and beautifully presented. It was also mentioned that almost all of them were collected from Albany region. After the display center, I came out and started walking to the next place. The second interesting place I visited is a whale chasing and hunting ship called as Shaynes Fall, which was used in 1900. I walked and climbed up to the ship to have a look. It is a really big ship built in 1948. It is nearly 50 meter long, weighing 530 ton and had a power of 1700 horsepower while it was operating. It was also mentioned how they brought that ship to the existing position and a blueprint of the ship was also displayed there. I went to the front deck of the ship first and found there were some wood poles for sailing mats were present there. At the front of the ship, there was also a massive crossbow installed which was used to hunt the whales when the ship was operating. After visiting the front deck, I started walking towards the upper deck where the helm was present. It was an old wooden helm installed in that ship. Behind the helm is the bridge of the ship and there were a few controls and monitors present. None of them were operable. After visiting the front of the ship, I walked inside the ship. Shainas 4 has four levels and I started climbing down to the visit one by one. We need to be very careful climbing down the stairs as they were very steep. Climbing down the stairs, I came to the first floor. There was a room at the front with some chairs and a table. 
looked like a conference or a meeting. Then there was a room for a ship crew member with a small bed, a chair and a wash basin. There were also photos and information of different captains worked in different whaling ships back in that time. The last captain worked on this ship, Shane S4, is Whaler Axel Christianen, and his photo and a little bit of information about him was also mentioned there. After seeing them, I went into the next room. That room also got some furniture like the previous one, a bed, a couch and a wash basin. There was also a common toilet in that floor used by the workers in the Shainess floor. The last room on that floor is another bedroom for a worker in the same layout as the previous ones with similar furniture. Finishing the first floor, I climbed down to the second floor from the top. The first room was the room belonged to the cook worked in that ship. Next to the cook's room was the kitchen of that ship. Inside the kitchen, there were some kitchen utensils and appliances used in that ship. There was an officer's mess next to the kitchen and some furniture used by the officers. Cruise mess is another facility used by the ship workers and it was the next one to see. Finishing that floor, I climbed down to the next floor, which is the third one from the top. The third floor was the floor where all the tools and equipment used for whale hunting were stored. There were a lot of tools and equipment like ropes, spears, sharp hooks, knives, anchors, floats, etc. All of them were used for whale hunting in the past and now stored and exhibited. There were also some photos of whale hunting displayed there. Next to the tool and equipment storeroom was the engine of that ship. I visited there and I could be able to see the engine of the ship Shane S4. It was a very massive engine which was working with 1700 horsepower. In the same floor, there were some rooms available as well. The first one was an engineer's cabin with the same setup like the previous one we had a look at on the top floors. The second room was for the chief engineer. There was a toy made and placed on the bed, pretend to be the chief engineer. There was also another couple of rooms for a third engineer and a donkey man who normally checks the fluid levels in a ship in the same floor of the Shainess floor. After visiting those places on that floor, I climbed down to another floor on the bottom, which is the fourth floor. On that fourth floor, there were a lot of rooms available for the workers worked in that ship. Rooms for deckhands and firemen available. Some of them had single beds and some of them had double beds. All the rooms were very small and had a very small bed in them. I was wondering how hard those people were working and living during their time in the sea.
that's all inside the ship guys. After visiting four floors inside the Shaynes Hall, I climbed up and came to the top floor of the ship. On my way back to the deck of the ship, I saw an old anchor used on that ship. It was very thick and long anchor. I also saw some information and history about the whale hunting in Albany, Western Australia. It was said that the whale hunting started around mid 90s and from 1952 to 1963, a lot of humpback whales were hunted. But in 1963, humpback whale hunting was prohibited and they started hunting for sperm whales. Sperm whale hunting lasted for 26 years and during that period, nearly 14,600 sperm whales were hunted and killed. It was also mentioned that it is very hard to capture the sperm whales, but they produce high quality oil and worth a lot of money. It is said that 7 ton high quality oil can be extracted from a 40 ton sperm whale. That is a small summary of whale hunting history in Albany guys. If you want more information, you can find that on their website. On my way out of the ship, I also saw the chimney, a few navigation equipment, wooden poles for sailing mats of the ship. It was a very different experience exploring and touring around that whaling ship, Shaynes Fall. That's it guys, that is the end of this video. And on the next one, I will show you around the whale processing factory, the products they produced, whale skeleton museum and more others i hope you all enjoyed this video and please make sure you subscribe to this channel to watch more videos like this i will see you all in another beautiful episode till then thanks for watching and cheers